Moon Palace the Grand is close to the airport, has great dining, water park, lots of activities, but you'll have a hard time spotting the ocean. Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie. Welcome to Moon Palace the Grand. After about a 15 minute ride from the airport, you'll arrive at Moon Palace the Grand. The check-in desk is there to the left. And I wanna be really clear in this video. This is Moon Palace the Grand. There's also Moon Palace Nazook and Moon Palace Sunset. So make sure you're watching the right video for where you're headed or where you're thinking about. We did have about a 25 minute wait when we checked in. We also had about a 10 minute wait trying to check out. So just keep that in your planning. You may have to stand in line as you're checking in or checking out. First, we're going to start by going through the entire lobby building. This is Travolo. This is an a la carte restaurant, meaning you order off of a menu. It was open for lunch and dinner during our stay. It is very popular, particularly with larger groups. So I recommend if you do have a larger group coming right when the restaurant's open. It has a pizza oven where they make the pizzas fresh in front of you. At lunch, I ordered the arugula salad. I thought it would have more arugula. This was really more like a cucumber tomato salad. The spicy blue pizza was delicious and not too spicy. The meatballs had more of a Mediterranean flavor than an Italian flavor, so they weren't my favorite. But this dish, the rigatoni Verona, was absolutely delicious. It was chicken and mushrooms. The penne with shrimp was also very good, but the shrimp were a little teeny tiny. Heading past the Italian restaurant, we'll find the desk. This is where the public relations group is located. So if you have any questions about your reservations or maybe you have specialty amenities or want to schedule a tour to be part of the membership program. This is the French restaurant. It's adult only. Sorry, it's so dark. It was closed when I went in there. Reservations are required for dinner for some of the a la carte restaurants. You'll be able to make those reservations via the app. So you can download a Palace Resorts app. And then once you get there, you'll be able to check in with your room number. Unique Nightclub is the late night nightclub. It was open three nights during our stay. The other sections of the resort have discos as well. There's additional packages you can purchase. You can just talk to those folks that sit across from the Italian restaurant. Gift shops are available for souvenirs. Also, if you forgot anything, and there's actually Pier 27 gift shops next to each pool. So that's why you'll see a lot of people with footballs and floats. Around the corner, you'll find La Boulangerie, which is a hot spot here because it's the ice cream, coffee, and sandwich shop. At the far end is where you order the ice cream, and then in the middle is where you order the sweet treats, sandwiches, and coffees, and then you pick it up at the end. They will also give you a buzzer if you want to just go sit down and wait. I highly recommend just getting the buzzer, but great treats there, uh, especially if you just want to take something away for an excursion. Heading down the elevators to the LG level, coming out of the elevator to the left, we'll find what I like to call like the Mexican corner. So it has La Cantina, which is more of kind of a street food, casual location, uh, open in the evening, does not require reservations. So great spot for empanadas, street corn, if you just want a quick bite or you're, you don't want like a full dinner experience, you can just head on here. Great for large parties. Across the way, you're gonna find Casa Mia. So this was open for uh, breakfast, buffet breakfast during our stay and then dinner as well. This did require a reservation for dinner and you can see it has that beautiful traditional Mexico in design, great different options for more gourmet Mexican food if you wanted to try to find some new favorites um, from your typical Mexican cuisine. Heading down the hallway towards that open bookshelf right there. So this is the library, aka the speakeasy. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit harder to find, but um, the door stays open, so it's pretty easy to, to figure out where it is. Inside, great leather couches, good ambiance. There was live music here every night. There was singers, there was a jazz band. The bartenders here are phenomenal. This is an adults only space. And really try new cocktails if that is your thing. This is a great spot to do it. Continuing down the hallway as if we headed right when we got off the elevator, we're going to find the boardroom, some of the convention rooms, and the bowling alley. The convention rooms will be used for wedding receptions. The boardroom houses a specialty extra charge dining experience that includes this very cool interactive visual experience. The bowling alley is the sports bar and bowling alley. Bowling is an additional charge. When we were there in October of 2023, it was $58 
per hour for one lane. They have the shoes, they have everything. You just need to sign up and reserve your lane. So you will need a reservation. Make sure you get there early if you wanna come at the more popular times. Like if it's gonna rain, you definitely wanna get there and get your reservation early. It has a fun pub menu. I really liked the pepperoni. Great spot if you're looking for chicken tenders, hot dogs, kind of more of your sports bar pub food. Now we're going to head back towards that elevator and head back upstairs to the lobby level. You can't get through to the spa and the fitness level from the lower level without going outside. So we kind of have to kind of go back up and then make your way around. So coming past that gift shop once again with all the t-shirts, just to give you an idea on the pricing. When we were there, the sale on the t-shirts was three for $60. That's US dollars. So t-shirts were around $20 a piece. Not a huge sale, but just to give you an idea. And then here's those desks. They call these the public relation desks. Again, you will be approached to see if you want to join their membership program, you know, that involves sitting through a multi-hour tour presentation where they talk to you about spending a lot of money to prepay your future vacations. This is the beautiful lobby bar. This also had live music in the evenings, a duet, a piano player. So very fun place to hang out. Definitely great place to watch everyone coming in. And then, you know, I like to give you kind of an overview of the brands of alcohol they have. Hopefully you spot a bottle of one of your favorites. And my reminder, always, always, always call your liquor when you're ordering a drink. Don't just say I want a, a gin and tonic. Say I want a tangere and tonic to make sure you are getting that premium alcohol. Behind the lobby bar, we'll find the Diamond Lounge. You will see a lot of signage around this resort for areas reserved for Diamond members. That is their timeshare membership program. That's what theirs is referring to. Circus is fantastic. So definitely get a reservation here if you enjoy whimsy and fun. My husband and I went without any kids and we had a great time. I absolutely love the decoration. I think this is one of the best themed restaurants I've been in, bar none, across resorts, across Disney World. They do such a neat job because all of the items have this like fun theming. So the cauliflower came in a dumbbell, the onion rings came on a juggling baton, the hot dog came out of that cannon that I just showed you, uh, the Philly cheesesteak was kind of boring, but like the hamburger goes through a ring of fire. So really fun experience. Uh, when you show up, they have a clown appetizer with some great popcorn to kind of let you know that this is going to be a fun and interactive experience. So I, I absolutely recommend it. They also have good food. Um, like they have Branzino and real food if you want to try it. And then about every 45 minutes to an hour, there's a little, little small piece of entertainment, but it's not overwhelming. The dessert is a buffet, so just prepare your heart. There will be a lot of children running around who are sugared up. The waiters make them balloon animals and uh, swords and different things like that. So it's a fun way to incorporate whimsy into your trip, and everyone there looked like they were having a great time. We got the magic ice cream, which I thought this was neat. I hadn't seen this at an all-inclusive resort before where they made your mix-ins right in front of you. Heading back through the lobby bar towards the check-in area, up next we're gonna see more restaurants and I'll show you how to make a reservation in the app. The grand piano does get used here. There was a great piano player that played in the evenings. And as you come around the corner towards the main entrance, you're going to find the entrance to the karaoke rooms. These are all extra charge, small rooms, 100 to 150 an hour, larger rooms, 150 to $200 an hour. You do need to make those reservations in advance. Just across from that, we'll find Jade, the Asian restaurant. Jade was one of the most popular restaurants during our stay, so keep that in mind as you're making your plans for dinner. Across from Jade is the fine jewelry shop, and then down the hall, we're going to find Wired, which is a lounge of all different kinds of games and activities. It opens around 10 a.m. in the morning, and it has old school games, non-electronic games like foosball, air hockey, pool. You can also play video games. You can check out controllers and keyboards to use the video game stations. It's not just set up all the time. You do have to check in with a member of the staff to be able to play. I like how they have it set up so people can watch you play as well. The video games also have the ones you sit on or ride on, and there are snacks inside the Wired Lounge in case you get hungry <laughs> with all that game play. Now, this was my favorite restaurant, Habibi. This is the Mediterranean. Iranian Middle Eastern restaurant and it was terrific. I love that it was something different than just your standard 
Asian or Italian or steakhouse that you see. They have an incredible breakfast. This was the parfait with rose water honey. They have fried cheese as one of the breakfast entrees that had incredible lamb pizza, lamb pizza flatbread with fried eggs on top. And then this was a lovely lamb sausage and cheese and egg dish. The baba ganoush had the smoothest texture I have ever had. At lunch, we had this incredible like pizza dough bread where they put a raw egg on top and it's spinach and cheese and then they mix it all up so the egg cooks basically right in front of you as the waiter makes it. The octopus was perfectly cooked. It was not too chewy. It had great flavor. Now, the wrap could have used more falafel, I'm going to say. It needed at least two or three more falafels, and the meal ended with delicious, creamy pistachio ice cream. Up next is JC Steakhouse. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I was super disappointed in my meal here. Have you been to the Grand Moon Palace and eaten here? Let me know what you think in the comments, because I don't know if they were just having an off night or what but I was so excited to come in I thought it'd be this elegant fun kind of steakhouse dinner so immediately when we got to the resort and logged into the app I went right to restaurants and bars and started scrolling through trying to find where we were going to have dinner during our stay you can see how it shows you which places require reservations and then which ones don't so Casa Mia Circus we talked about requires reservations Habibi does not require reservations and then JC Steakhouse so click on JC Steakhouse and that will take you to the different options that are available it tells you more about the dinner it tells you about the dress code you can click and review the menu if you'd like it lets you know about the dietary restrictions you click book a table at the top let them know how many adults and children will be visiting the restaurant when you're looking for it click search availability and then it will bring up all of the nights of your stay so this is really nice you can see an overview of your whole stay when reservations will may be available. It is on the 24 hour clock, so you'll just subtract 12, so to find out what time the reservation would be, and click confirm reservation, well done, and then you'll have your reservations. Now, just a reminder, there is a cancellation fee if you cancel prior to 4 p.m. on the date of your reservation. The meal started off really well. The waiter was friendly. We got these delicious rolls delivered to the table. I ordered the bone marrow. It was burnt a little bit on either end, but there was still enough in the middle to make a small appetizer. We laughed because this was called the Indianapolis Shrimp Cocktail based on St. Elmo's. It did not have enough horseradish to qualify as an Indianapolis shrimp cocktail. The spinach salad was good. The wedge salad was terrible. It was basically shredded lettuce that you would use at Taco Bell on a taco. This was the ribeye. It was flavored really well, but it was overdone and no one checked back on us. The cream spinach had meat on it, which I was not expecting and did not like. The mac and cheese was fine. The cream corn, the corn was a little al dente, but I'm used to Indiana corn and the mashed potatoes were fine. We didn't even wait to see the dessert menu. The service was so inattentive. Across from the entrance to JC Steakhouse, you'll find Tapas y Vinos, which is a wine and tapas bar. The service here was great. They have so many different wines for you to try, especially red wines. And then they set up this beautiful tapas bar. Now, it's really important to note, you have to order from the waiter and then they will bring you your plate. This is not a grab and go situation. I think people were surprised because the plates are made to order and it can take 10 minutes to get your order. So don't just think you can like run up, grab something and run away. The buffet is right next to the tapas location and it's a large size buffet. There are buffets located all over the property, especially for breakfast and lunch. So definitely check the schedule. You don't have to come to the main buffet in order to have a buffet experience for those meals. It's a typical all-inclusive buffet, so many different choices, lots of options made to order. You have your pancakes and your waffles and your fruit and your hot items and your Mexican items and all different kinds of charcuterie. You have the different breads, so lots of great choices. Up next, we're going to look for the water park and the theater where the evening shows take place. We're going to head down this set of elevators right next to the buffet. It's only two levels, so the elevators come quickly. And I actually love that they have a real phone in the elevator in case there's any issues that pop up. Down on this lower level, we are going to find the spa and the fitness center. So the fitness center is included and the spa is an extra charge. 
the fitness center has all different kinds of equipment. It was packed, so I didn't film any of it because I would not want my picture working out on someone's YouTube video, but it was very busy. Lots of options, lots of included classes. You have the beautiful spa that you head in. Definitely want to make your appointments in advance. I heard a rave review of the facial when I was in the summit bar, so keep that in mind. Now, heading out of this lower level, as you are looking at the ocean, we are on the right side of the lobby, so all the way to the right. You're going to head out these double doors, and we are going to look for the theater. I actually walked right by it the first time, so here's the clue. Look for this big light-up sign and and then make a left so you don't walk right by it like I did in the evening. There were evening shows each night. There was also kid shows as well as a main show. So lots of choices for evening activity. Right when you walk in, there's a bar in case you need that to get through the evening show. And then it's a large inside air conditioned theater. This was during the Mexico show. It was a 45 minute show with all different kinds of costume changes and dances highlighting all the different regions of Mexico. I thought it was really well done. I will say if you want a better view sit in the front section because there's a walkway through the middle and in the back section it was kind of hard to see when people were walking in and out um, as you know a lot of kids were there so they got tired and they parents would have to take them out so that just made it a little hard to see we're walking towards the ocean. We made a right at the building and you want to keep an eye out for these signs. This is a huge property and they try to show you kind of where you're going and where you want to go and how long it's going to take you to walk there. So we're looking for the water park and the playroom and so we're going to keep going down the side of this building. We're actually going to enter from the back of the water park. Here is the flow rider. This is included. It's first come first serve. You don't need reservations. Uh, you get a, a little set amount of time to head down the flow rider. So lots of fun. In fact, we met a couple that that's all their teenage boys did during the entire stay. There's a small bar here. And then in the back area where the flow rider is, is all the big kid water slides. There's cabanas um, to the side. That big building right there is the playroom. And then you can see how high these slides are. There is a lazy river that goes around the playroom. I love lazy rivers. It has floats and here's a better view of those slides. You see you kind of have the racing slides and then the orange and green loop-de-loop -loop slides that come out in the middle of the water park. Walking towards the ocean now, we'll find a gift shop. As I mentioned before, there are gift shops near any pool. So in case you need an emergency Nerf football, it is always just steps away. Here's the wave pool. So it's kind of small. It does get a little crowded and congested, but I think it's incredible that they still have it. It's pretty rare for an all-inclusive to have a wave pool. And then here's the playroom where the supervised kids activities take place. Now the rest of the water park is a series of splash areas. So you have a splash pad there to the left, and then this splash area that's for younger kids here. You can tell because the slides aren't quite as high and they have the little tiny things you can run through. The grill is available so you can get lunch inside the water park. You don't have to, you know, dry off and leave. And I like how they included these chairs with umbrellas with a great view of the more adventurous splash zone. There's, you know, uh, you can climb all the way up to the different towers. There's slides that go around the back. There's also the big dumping bucket. You can see here, like there's these little twirly slides. So you really do have things for kids of all ages within this water park. Now the water park is only included for people staying at the Grand. Lockers are available for those who have bought a day pass to come over. You also can rent bikes to go around the entire property because it is so big. Between the three resorts, the Sunset, Nazook, and Grant, it's two miles of beachfront. They also offer guided bike tours. You can sign up and play. You can sign up and join. And then here is the cute little mini golf course right here at the water park. The main entrance is to the side. We kind of came into the back and moved forward. Right next to that is a bus stop. There are three routes around the Grand. The golf carts say on the front the key places they are going. There's also regular golf carts circulating for people walking from your rooms in the different buildings. The longest we waited for a golf cart was 10 minutes. Up next, we're going to check out all the pools around the resort. So first, we're going to head to the upper right corner and check out the pool near the restaurant Cusco. This was my favorite pool. This is where we hung out for the whole week. On this side, there is a swim-up bar. You have very comfortable chaise loungers with pads on them, 
plenty of umbrellas for shade. You have those large whirlpools in the center. These are warmer just because they're more shallow. I don't believe there was extra heating in them. This is Cusco's. This restaurant was open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner when we were there. For lunch, it's a buffet, and this was a great buffet. They had a lot of fresh grilled items, a salad bar, the great charcuterie boards we've been talking about, fresh seafood, and this incredible raw bar. I was so impressed by it. Dinner is a la carte and requires reservations. The opening snack is these great corn nuts. I recommend getting the veggie skewers. It's just a traditional peppers and onions and mushroom skewer. skewer. This is the cocktail causa. This was not what I was expecting, but the shrimp and beet puree were very good. The saute noodles were bad. The chicken was tough and it didn't have a lot of flavor. The grilled octopus was perfectly done and my favorite dish of the evening. And then this is the duck. My husband said it was perfectly cooked and had a terrific sauce. On the other side of the pool, there is another swim up bar. So you can head down this huge long pool. There was a lot of football throwing in this pool because it is so big. Lots of hanging out at the cool swim up bar. And then behind it is an area for diamond guests. Next, we'll head to the pool near the Palace Elite Center. Palace Elite Center is for those who want to purchase a membership into Palace Resorts. On the way, you'll find these little entry points to the beach, but it's really important to know you can't see the ocean from any of these oceanfront pools because of this kind of big bush of mangroves that helps protect against erosion. That was very frustrating to me because I love being able to see the ocean from the pool. And even though we're like 30 yards from the ocean, you can't see it. The restaurant here is The Grill, offering grilled specialties. It's very well named. It has a buffet lunch and then a la carte dinner. Reservations were not required for The Grill while we were there. And it's really well known for its hamburgers. So it kind of has a cult following for everyone who loves these little tiny sliders you can get at The Grill. On the other side of the pool, you have this cool in-pool table with stools around it. And there, of course, is a swim-up bar down at the other end, away from the Palace Elite Center entrance. So if you are looking for this one bar, go past Palace Elite, past the grill, and you'll find it there. Now we're going to head to the middle of the resort. I thought this was a pool based on the map. It is not. These are all just areas for special events. So this is the Grand Gazebo. You may see some activities here during your stay, but this really is designed to have a more scenic background in the middle of the resort for special events. Uh, cocktail hours or special events. Now we're going to head to the activities pool. So this was known as the sports and wellness pool because it is a very long pool. On one side, they set up a rock band here one day. They have different activities. This is the most active pool that we found. You have your ping pong table. So if there's going to be a swim class, it's going to be here. Just behind it is another area for diamond level guests. So what you're looking at right now is only for diamond level guests. Just the long oceanfront pool is going to be the one that's available to all guests. This is the closest you can get to an ocean view of all the pools because you can see it doesn't have that big wall of mangroves like you've seen at the other places. And then here's just another view of that diamond pool. Heading down to the adults area. So this is the unique day club. We saw the unique nightclub in the lobby just a few minutes ago. This is the adults only area. It has a DJ during the day. Just as you could rent a table at the nightclub, you can rent cabanas that are around the outer rim of the day club. Note there is not a swim up bar in here. It's all waiter service. There is a grill available if you need a little snack. We tried the hot dog. It was good. The hamburger. They have tacos. They have a nice little guacamole and chip appetizer, buffalo wings, and then a taco that is a mozzarella cheese stick basically in a taco. It was delicious. All right, continuing to another one of the very popular pools. This is the Caribbean pool. And coming up along the side, this is kind of where you get let off on the golf cart. You will have to go up a bit of a hill a lot of the places, so keep that in mind. You may be let off and then have to walk up the hill to get right into the resort. But if you really ask, I'm sure the golf cart would take you as far as they could. They're just kind of in a hurry trying to get people around the resort. So this is another very long pool with lots of chairs around it and umbrellas. What's unique about this pool is in front of it is the beach club, and I'll show you that in a minute. Coming along the back, this does get a little congested just because it's where everyone's walking to get around the pool. It's not quite as spacious as the other pools that we've seen. It does 
have a swim up bar, so don't worry. And it also has a Pier 27. Like I said, all of the pools have Pier 27s next to them. This restaurant was open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner during our stay. It was buffet, breakfast, lunch, a la carte dinner. It also had entertainment in the evenings. Around 6.30 each night, there was live entertainment as part of the dinner. This is a look at the breakfast buffet. This was a pretty typical breakfast buffet around the resort. So as I said before, in addition to the grand buffet, a lot of the restaurants offer a breakfast buffet just to kind of spread people out. You have your salad bar, your juices, all your different toppings. They have a hot soup. And then I love this fruit display. I, it just felt like so abundant <laughs> the way they played it, everything. Of course, you have my beloved charcuterie section, your sweet treats, and these were very good. If you do like a, a pastry item, I thought they were very good around the resort. Um, all your different types of sauces or salsa, a Bloody Mary and mimosa bar, and then your hot items. So Mexican favorites in addition to, you know, US, your standard US favorites. I love a tamale for breakfast. I'm a really savory breakfast person. What about you? Are you more savory or sweet? Because one thing I love about Mexico is getting all the fun, savory Mexican dishes. You saw there, there's eggs being made to order, ham carved to order, waffles and pancakes made to order, and then you have this nice view looking out over the resort pool and then into the beach club. Now heading down to the beach club, this is a great bar area if you just wanna sit and relax. It also has a grill that serves lunch during the day and then you can head out to the boardwalk to the beach. Now one thing, hopefully someone has warned you about that this is not the best beach area. Uh, you do need to walk kind of over the mangroves. As we said before, the mangroves are there to prevent erosion. This area gets a hard pounding surf a lot of the year and so it's really important to keep what beach they have. They have a lot of chairs and loungers down here on the beach. This is a nice place to go in the evening. And then you'll see that the sand isn't too bad, actually. It's um, a nice color. It's a little rocky, has little remnants of seaweed in it. This area does tend to get a lot of seaweed during seaweed season. They have put up a barrier to try to hold it back, but you can just tell by the watercolor and kind of what's here on the shore that it comes in very heavy. They do do their best to clean it up, but I would say if you're a big beach person, this resort is not going to be for you. Um, it can get slightly smelly in the heat of the summer. Now we're going to head a little further into the resort to one of the family pools that also has Los Tacos available. This was available from around noon to five every day. It's a la carte, so you go up and order and you can get all different kinds of tacos. These cabanas here on the left were first come first serve, no extra charge. You have the small bar right there, the tables and chairs for eating your tacos, and then uh, a decent size pool. This was very popular with families, um, lots of kind of room to swim. It has the beautiful view with all the trees and lots of chairs available. Of all the pools, I, this, we found this one to be like the quietest, least popular. It's right next to building 85, which we're is where our room is. So let's take a look at that. We got a honeymoon room with a king bed. Right when you walk in is a little cabinet that has your alcohol. So it, it does include liquor in the rooms, your mini fridge with sodas, beer, and wine. For those of you who always ask me, there was Corona in the mini bar as well as Modelo. So for my beer fans out there, inside the closet, we'll find robes, uh, iron, ironing board, slippers, and of course a safe. The bathroom was very spacious. I liked having the two separate sinks. The shower was a decent size. It does have a small ledge and then it does have a window into the main room, but you can close the shutters for more privacy. This was the guaranteed king bed because it is a honeymoon room category. A nice place to put your luggage, dresser, small TV, a desk uh, with another mirror. The Wi-Fi was very good at this resort. I had no problem um, uploading or downloading anything, including streaming. Plugs next to the bed, the two-person jacuzzi, and then a table and chairs in case you did want to take advantage of the 24-hour room service. This has a nice balcony. So what did you think of Moon Palace Grand? Would you stay here? Let me know in the comments. And if you have stayed here, I'd love to know what some of your favorite things were. And here comes some videos YouTube and I thought you might like.